<laughs> what? I didn't do anything. I should be the one crying. You pushed me. In today's Baby Alive video, Juliet is not feeling well, so I took her to the doll hospital. What could be wrong with her? Find out today on Missy Moo. Okay, I'll get you guys to come have a seat here in room number three. Alright, can you please state the name and age of the patient and what's going on with her today? Yes, this is Juliet, and she's a year and a half, and she's just not been feeling well all day. She's just been whiny. Uh-huh, Juliet not feeling well. Juliet got boo-boo. Oh no, did she fall? Uh-uh, no. Then what's the matter? Uh, Juliet got ouchie. Yeah, she keeps on rubbing her head and her ear. I'm not sure what's going on with her. Oh dear, well I'll get you to slip this on Juliet, and then the doctor's gonna be with you in a minute. Okay. Okay Juliet, that hospital gown is actually pretty adorable with all those elephants on it. Uh huh. I hope we can figure out what's going on with you. Come in. Hi, my name is Dr. Helen. Hi, Dr. Helen. My name is Juliet, and I'm a big girl. Well, you sure are a big girl. It's nice to meet you. So what's going on with you? Feeling well? No, Juliet not feeling well. Doctor, she's just been complaining all day about having a boo-boo, and I don't know what's going on because she didn't fall or anything, so I don't know. Well, we'll get to the bottom of it. Let me just get my glasses. There we go. And then we're going to check a few things out on you, Juliet. Um, oh yeah, let's start by checking your heart and your breathing. Okay, Juliet, I want you to give me a big breath in and a big breath out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, that sounds all good. Nothing wrong there. Let's see, what else can we check on you? Uh, let's check your eyes and your mouth and your ears. Okay, Juliet, sweetheart, I'll get you to follow the light. Uh-huh, uh-huh, nothing wrong there. Okay, now give me a big ah. Uh. Ah! Oh, wow, that is a perfect ah uh, that you did there. Yeah, yeah. I don't see anything going on in there, Juliet. I'm just going to check your temperature and see maybe if you have a fever. So I'll get you to open your mouth again and then close it. Okay, nope, your temperature is just fine. Okay, tell me mom, when did this all start today? Well, it was around 10 o'clock in the morning. And everybody already had their breakfast, and Bailey was doing some homeschooling. Oh my goodness, I can't stand probabilities. How about this? There's a 90% probability that I don't like this next math question, and there's a 100% probability that I want to do something else. She was having a little bit of a hard time with her math questions today. No, not right now, Juliet. I'm trying to finish this. Hey, Bailey, you wanna play? No, Juliet, I have to do this math homework. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, that's so cool. Look what I have. No, Juliet, that is mine. You don't touch that. That belongs to me, it was on my desk. Now, <laughs> no, don't start whining so you can get your way. That's not going to work with me. Now, I got to go get something to drink and I'll be right back. Don't touch my stuff. I'm watching you and I can hear you. Oh, mean Bailey. Julia want to play. Ooh, look at all this stuff. 
<laughs> Look at me, I do school. There's a pen, and then there's a notebook, and an eraser. Ooh, pretty eraser. Nice. Juliet! Uh-oh. Get off my chair. I told you not to touch my school stuff. And what do you do? You touch my school stuff! No, no. Juliet did not touch Bailey's school stuff. You are lying. No. Yes. No, Juliet, don't lie. Juliet, a good girl. Whoa, Juliet, you are in big trouble. I'm going to tell Mommy. Mommy! <laughs> What? I didn't do anything. I should be the one crying. You pushed me. Unbelievable. Guys, what's going on here? What happened to Juliet? Why is she crying? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't do anything. She was touching my school stuff and I told her off. And then she pushed me. So ever since then, she's been saying she has an owie, and I don't know what it is, because Bailey didn't push her, so I took her into the hospital. Hmm, that sounds very interesting. You know what? I haven't checked out her ears yet. So Julia, I'm gonna get you to turn over this way, and I'm going to have an extra close look into your ears. Alright. Oh, yes. Yes, I see the problem now. Oh, what is it, Doctor? Well, good news is this is not going to take long at all. So, Juliet, I'm going to have you look at those pretty pictures on the wall and just count until five. Okay. One, two, three, four. Wow, will you look at this, Juliet? Oh my goodness, did she shove a whole eraser into her ear? You would be surprised what some kids like to try and hide in their ears. Yes, Juliet, look at that eraser. I don't know how you got that up there. You gotta be careful not to put anything up your ear, Juliet. You don't wanna damage your eardrums. Okay, doctor. Juliet, sorry. It's okay, dear, but it looks like you're going to have to get Bailey a new eraser. But you stay out of trouble, dear. Now, would you like a piece of candy? Yes, please. All right. Here's a piece of candy for you, Juliet. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Now, you go home and you let your big sister Bailey finish her homework, okay? Okay.